why does it have to do that? <laughs> why does the stream just like stop? Eh, we're done. Eh, we're done. Uh, <laughs> we're back. Refreshed. Never had a Fresca. That is me fighting the table boss. <laughs> well, Sam's dead. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. Ah, oh, my internet. It's like I live in one of like the most rural states in the Union. Good use of the Union, Bagel. Way to bring up the Union. Alright, get the one up. We're never gonna lose. <laughs> hey, Mr. Gamer, welcome back. <laughs> At least we're not dropping frames. I think we've been dropping frames for hours. No. Alright, don't screw this up. Whip, whip. Ah, don't get hit. Getting hit there is the opposite. That's good, that's gold. Oh, it's so good! I think you're still losing the fight, though. Yeah. Got him! Straight up, like an arrow! Straight up! <laughs> Marty. Marty's been sitting on my lap, like, all stream. He's my little guy. He's my little guy. We have fun. Alright. Content. This is my least favorite level in the game. Like, now that I think about it, this level's, like, bad. I hate this level. Nah, see, we're getting Santa back. We're getting Santa back. Oh. We have to start over. Oh, I wonder who's at the door! <laughs> it's just not a good level. In fact, these three levels in a row, is this- they go from this? They go from the- this level to the, um, terrible- Fucking idiot. They go from this level to the terrible level. With all the spikes and stuff and, like, the sewers, the catacombs. And then they follow that up with the gold level, which is okay, but like, it's not that good. Here we go again! Let's walk into him. Let it happen, man. Am I ever gonna get the cross back? He'll stab up. Beagle! You, okay, okay, Beagle, Beagle, you, you, you knew what was gonna happen. You did nothing to happen. Did nothing to stop it. Him stabbing up was an inside job, baby. Thought maybe there was something down there, and there wasn't. Or Spot, don't talk like that. We're saving Santa, damn it. Gotta hit him. Damn it, I didn't want to limp with Oh, now- Oh, damn it! I did everything wrong. I was trying to whip him. Like, a whip. He's like two whip kill hits to kill. As a limp whip, he sees many heads, and we just zoned that guy out of existence. That's good. Still haven't game over yet. I feel like, score-wise, nice. We're close to another 1-up. Three hits! Three hits to kill him. No, 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 you haven't missed- no, 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 you have not missed the sick mounted crossbow. I can do this, I can get out of here, I can get out of here. That's a, that's a checkpoint. It's not a checkpoint at all. <laughs> that was more out of, like, good faith in the game. Like, I was trying to talk to the game, like, no, game, that's a checkpoint. It's the other staircase, it's a checkpoint. Okay, we're done, we're done dying, we're done dying. Look, Bagel, yeah, it's been a long day. Yeah, you've been- three different Castlevania games, but you know what? Santa is trapped in Dracula's basement. Is he? Yeah, he is. And you and you gotta get him out. Alright. Alright, I got this. I got I got the directions from the chat. I got the totem from Daggerfall. I got I got little Richard's golden harmonica. We can do this. 
Yeah, it's a giant library, but, like, it's literally a giant library. Like, it's a library for giants. Like, the books are in the background, and compared to Simon Belmont, they're massive. Look at that! Look how big those books are! They're as big as him! And they're in the background! Like, they're a little smaller than his sprite is, but they're in the- considering that they're in the background- the background? Not the foreground. I just- I think, you know, they're pretty big books. I'm gonna go quick here. Go down the stairs. What do you got there, Ad? Is that your SoundCloud? Is that- that's not pornography, is it? I frown on pornography here with list classes. That's how you do a staircase. See, that's what I'm talking about. Verticality. This game is loaded with it. Get out of there. <sighs> Back when I used to be an idiot, this part would give me trouble. It's not really that bad. I was just the king of overthinking it. Once you understand how to play it, it's not that bad. But if you don't know, like, the pattern, and you have to, like, analyze it for a while, it is bad. There it is! There it is, voice model! That's Dracula's mounted crossbow! I killed four... As, as cool as jumping over a bat is, so is killing four bats with one strike of a chain whip. There might be money down here. I mean, help. I also like that painting. <laughs> Just a skull resting on a bone. Look out! Every one of them is smiling. Every one of them is smiling. Yeah, they're like five feet tall books. Tall books. Still don't have a times two bagel. There it is. Duck! Watch out for the bug in the rug! Yo, Dracula knows what he wants, man, Force Mono. He knows what he wants. You think he just threw this place together all willy-nilly? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Drac had a vision. Drac had a vision. Yeah! Red dude. Take him out this time. This time I kill him. This time I kill him. Ah, you can't. Ah, oh, Jesus, get out of it. It's too much to handle. I love that sound effect. Bats are coming. Nope, no bats. Just a grab you, lady. Dog. Are those bats or ghosts? You think they're bats from the color, but they got like two heads. Ooh. Tall bagel. Get rid of Clubbo. Ah! Wish I had Richter's backflip. This is the boss. The boss is super easy. I don't know, this is not much to enjoy about. It's not terribly difficult. But like, I don't know, there's just not a lot going on in it. Easy peasy. <laughs> Supposed to drop in a hole here. You can kind of dodge the hole for a second. You can fight the hole. About as long as you can dodge it. You're gonna fall. <laughs> Can't really avoid the hole. Like, Mr. Gamer, what's the deal with that centipede? It's like the only time you ever see it. It's in a place you would have to go out of your way to get to. And, like, fighting is very difficult. Like, I've never been able to kill him. Like, and he, like, flies away. Like, he leaves the screen. Like, his, his pathing tells him to leave. And he takes a lot of hits. So the odds of you killing him before he leaves is very low. It's just such a random enemy. It's, it's, I don't know. I always, he was really random. Now, in level two, the water droplets did not hurt you. But 
the catacombs, everything hurts you, including those acid droplets. This level's really, really hard, especially if you're trying to not die. Okay, that sounds stupid. You're saying it's stupid. But, um, everything in here is like a one-hit kill. Like, all these spikes are a one-hit kill. And then, like, the pit, like, it's actually a really smart level, I guess. You got all the, like, it's like one-hit kill spikes, but no one-hit kill pits. I'm really analyzing this game today. Verticality, the catacombs, don't have spikes. I mean, do have spikes. But don't have pits, just as acid that burns you. So it's not like you got safety, you still need to avoid it. It's actually a really smart level design. Yeah, like, like, those two things there. Like, that's such a tricky jump if you're not familiar with it. Because, like, if you just, the first time you see it, you gotta really take your time to understand the pattern. Ah, damn it. That might be easy. Nope, it's an instant kill. Stop getting hit. It's like dodging every one of those. Portionado is there. Wow, I didn't realize. <laughs> That's so funny. This bridge breaks apart. It sucks. I don't understand how to do it correctly, so I'm gonna do something like this. Now, see, look at that. Every single time I do this dang bridge, there's a cross up here. That five hearts right there is a cross if you don't already have the cross. So if you're dead, if you die at the level, it's actually like super important to get up there and get the cross, or at least do that. So many hits. Yeah, I'm really bad at getting over that bridge. Tough bridge. Um, I usually just like to try to get through this quickly, but I. What were you thinking? What were you thinking? That you could jump? Ugh, they give you a. I'm out of lives. Oh god, bagel. I have full health, but I'm out of lives. I should've just went this way, like a smart person. But I am an idiot. Now I have no lives, and if we die, we gotta do the whole stinking level again. But we're not gonna, because we're not gonna die. I have faith in me. All we have to do is to beat the hardest part of the level in one shot. Did you watch the intro, Pipe? Did you watch the intro? Thank you, Pipe. I, I, um, I'm not joking. I've been thinking about that for like eight, eight months, eight years. Eight years is a, is a lie. I, but for real, there was a previous cast, I'm sure no one remembers it, but I made an offhand comment of that I wanted to put a door behind me and have people show up at it. And that was before I moved here, and I actually literally had a door. Like, I was gonna make my own door out of, like, cardboard. But when I moved here, I said, perfect, sold. I'm buying the apartment for that door. Thank you, Pipe, I appreciate that. I was really, I was really working on this thing today. We've had extra guests. We've had more guests show up throughout the day. You can just walk across. It's a dagger. Don't. Don't know what you're doing there, Bagel. Don't know why you picked up that dagger. You knew it was a dagger. Yeah, I've been working on it. I actually, I've only, I only started working this since like last Sunday. But the idea has been in there for eight months. I just kind of procrastinated on it. This is the worst part of the game, in my opinion. I feel like over time... <gasps> oh! Okay, I don't know why I whipped the staircase to break apart. So these spawn, like, I swear to God, randomly. This is actually pretty okay. That's a pretty okay spawn. Okay, okay, we just gotta kill, um, other Frankenstein. Throw stuff, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to cross, but whatever. Do you, Simon? You do you. Careful. We got Franken. We got Franken. Yeah, baby! Oh, the catacombs is the hardest level. After this is smooth sailing. Yeah, he gets really close to the spikes with his head. But it's okay, because he's wearing a tiara.
Wham Bam, you should definitely watch the VOD. The whole stream's been great. The intro, the intro is where I put a lot of the effort, though. But I'm also putting effort into this part, so don't leave. Follow the channel, in fact, if you're new. I'm sure you're new. If you're new, follow the channel. I'm Bagel. I play the classics. People are just refer- F5. Where are those- Where are those Super Castlevania 4 streams? F5, F5. There it is! There's one! Got one! Bagel, you, you're not lined up on the Super Castlevania 4 because you're under Castlevania. Okay! <laughs> I like this level because it's full of gold. Also- Real talk. That- okay, that skeleton right there is my favorite skeleton. I didn't- I didn't give him a good setup, but that skeleton jumps off a cliff. Like, he's scripted to jump off a cliff. Or maybe it's like Radiant AI. Maybe- maybe he makes his own choice to jump off that cliff, I don't know. But I do like how everything's gold here. They're, I mean, it's basically the same exact enemies, except they're gold. Woo! You don't always make that jump, Bagel! Yeah, cross if you make that jump. And a bat to the face. Jesus Christ. Now I gotta have a new year cast? How do you guys feel about Dark Souls? How do you feel about Dark Souls in a box of Frazier? No, that's not what's happening. I don't know if there's anything in this wall here. There is not. That that wall, that this little area happens a lot in Castlevania, the little alcove. I mean, even the first level of the game has something like that. Bagel. Show him what's what. He's not gonna kill him. He takes two hits. Okay, well, you're an idiot. Actually, you know what? There's no reason to go up there, I think. I think that was the where the jerks live. Does he just drop like a stopwatch or something stupid? No, it drops literal food. Damn it. Did I do an E3 discussion? What the hell did I say during my E3 discussion? I'm sure it was nothing but good insight. Why don't they make a good DZ? It, there's clearly a market for it! This guy's tough. This guy's tough. He'll get you. So this is actually the first checkpoint in the game. In the entire game. No, <laughs> in this level. And it's kind of far. Like, you gotta go kind of far to get to this checkpoint. So. What I'm saying. If we can one-shot this level, I mean, we 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 died. There's no. This is the one that sucks. There's no reason to go across there. That sucks, bro. Tendo. I've worked at places that I don't know are like that. I guess. I used to work at a restaurant, and there was a guy there who would just drink liquor. Damn it. He would, he would drink alcohol from the bar. And I was like, you shouldn't do that. Like, I wasn't gonna... I didn't rat him out or nothing. But it was weird. It was like 8.30 and he'd have like a little like... He'd be like... <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't do that. That's weird. Because <laughs> we had these like little mini Coke bottles and we would like be allowed to have a shift drink. He would try to like pour like liquor into a shift drink, which is like a tiny like little bottle of coke. Like you'd see him pouring rum into it. Like what are you doing? Why are you doing that? <laughs> Don't do that. Hey, I got him! But there was a there was a little lip here helping me. Look at that cross back. There, it, there's a secret to this level, much like that crying fisherman. You know, I don't need to tell you guys. You guys are experts. I've never played Reseteer, and I've been told to play it, like, multiple times, and I haven't. But I am here to tell you to play the game Trails in the Sky. That, that if you want a fun little JRPG ROM that has character and charm, really, think about it. Think about Trails in the Sky. Oh, it's a good one. Do bacon, yes I did, yes I did. It was gifted to me, I know it was gifted to me. Do bacon, you gifted it to me. But I hear it's fantastic, and I keep people playing. play it. We're gonna play it at some point. We're keeping gonna play it at some point. Yazaraji, you play Trails in the Sky, tits? It's so good. It's like, I... I 
say this every stream, I feel like, but everyone needs to go play Trails in the Sky. If you like JRPGs, it's like ten dollars. Really, really good. Suck me in. Suck me in. Really good. No! Fuck. I'm sorry, I yelled. I should be yelled, but that was a cross on the line. I zoned out. Too busy thinking about all the JRPGs I like. This is what I was thinking. I was thinking about this this screen in particular when I was thinking about how much more verticality Super Castlevania 4 has over the other Castlevanias. Or Spato, do you ever have um Ignog- Because my stomach hurts. I think I need to get into like a Tums. <laughs> These two full glasses of eggnog are upsetting my tummy. <laughs> oh, Bagel, you made the choices you made. You made the choices you made. Get that money! Damn it, Wham Bam. It had a free-to-play weekend, and I watched a half-hour-long review. I, I gave 30 minutes to a review of the expansion pack that just came up, out, so it's like a, you know, a modern review of it, and it said it was fantastic. But once they started talking about, like, crafting and everything, I was just like, I just shut off. I was just like, you know what? I don't have enough time. Like, I work 40 hours a week. I stream for, like, 15 to 20. I don't have time for an MMO. Bagel, and I told myself that, and I'm done with it. I'm, I'm happy about that. <laughs> you had eggnog latte and you're not getting it. You're probably not getting it again. Aw oh, man, I remember last year I had I had eggnog a bunch, and then I told myself after I got really sick I'm not gonna have eggnog again. But today I just had two glasses of eggnog. But here's the thing, I haven't had a third glass of eggnog. That's why bagel in 2015 is smarter than bagel 2014. Because I'm not having the third glass of eggnog. It's just like it's just like, you know, when you eat a donut at work, when someone brings in donuts, and then there's a third, there's a second donut. If you have a second donut, there's more than enough for everyone. And you have the second donut, and then you feel like crap. And then you have a third donut for some reason. And then you really feel like crap. I'm fighting this boss. 